you don't understand, she's not breathing. I don't think she has a pulse. That's not fast enough. Joanne, what are you doing here? I thought you were dead. I am dead! If you're dead, how are you here? I'm stuck. After my heart stopped beating, I woke up and found this in my pocket. Dear Joanne, sorry to hear about what happened with the car. Such a waste of talent. Well, anyway, I'm writing you this note because it seems you're stuck in limbo. Don't panic, though. I can help you through this. Step one, figure out what your unfinished business was. Step two, find someone who can see you. This is normally someone close to you. And finally, and this is very important, the decisions you make dictates where you go, either up or down. Well, at least death has a sense of humor. Ha ha! Look, this is serious. I need your help. Great, now I miss my first class. I think my problem is a little bit more serious than biology. Maybe we should move somewhere a little more private, all right? Fine. Just check into your second hour class. Meet me in the hallway after it. You want me to walk in and out of class? Oh, I'm sure the teacher's gonna think that's a good idea. Just say you have to go to the nurses or something. Fine, you'll have about 10 minutes. Which hallway? The one by the North Gym. All right. Going somewhere, Mr. Hale? Yeah, I don't feel very well. Can I go to the nurse's office? You want me taking a zero on the test? I guess I can wait. I'm done, Mrs. K. Hey, you make it. Will you help me? I don't know how. The pamphlet said you could act as proxy, so you'll need to run. Against Gwen? Yeah, right, she would kill me. I don't even know how to run one of these campaign things. All right, now we gotta start campaigning. Get yourself out there. Let people know that you're going to stop Gwen in her efforts to become president. We will prevail! Okay, I don't want it that badly, but I'll do whatever it takes to win. So long as it's ethical. Leave me alone for a while while you lunch and think about how to beat Gwen. Okay, I'll go eavesdrop stop on the teacher's lounge. Why are you campaigning? Just give up and vote for me. Here, have a cup of tea. Vote for Gwen. That's Gwen with two N's. Listen, I'm going to win this competition. Everybody has either been run out or eliminated, like your friend. Don't bring her into this. You know what they say, one person's bad misfortune is another person's good fortune? Here, have a cupcake. Don't forget to vote for me. Jerk, I'm going to make sure you don't win. Jerk! So, how did things go at lunch? What do you mean? With Gwen! Can we win? Gwen's up drinking. She started heading out cupcakes. There's no way I can compete with that. All I have to give is Well, what should we do? Frame her. Great idea! Oh, I don't want to frame her. I was just kidding. I will. Gwen! You broke my vase. We cannot have a class president that is not a good role model. You are expelled from the race. Why can't you be more like your sisters? They've all become class president. I was framed. Why won't you believe me? I don't want to hear your lies. Go to your room. Fine. I'm sorry for destroying your dreams, Gwen. That's okay. I know it wasn't you. At least now I know I don't have to win to be happy. I have to ask, do you have anything to do with Joanne's death because I saw the text that you sent her that day? I only sent the text that day because I was very angry. If it helps, I dropped out of the race for becoming class president and someone else won. That makes me feel a little better. Here, have a beef stick. I've given up my presidency to someone else because I felt so bad.